Previously, Sandeep challenged me to create my own costume plan. We need to act now, even the simple accent can make a change. Nicole shared about eating consciously and reducing food waste. So on a ballpark figure, we're throwing away 30% of everything that we import. 30%? That's a lot. Louise told me about Singapore's plans for renewable energy. We're pushing this out big time. So on the rooftops, even in air bases, as I shared in Parliament, we're putting out the solar panels and we now need Singaporeans to come on board. And Robin showed me tips and tricks to journey towards zero waste. Let's say everybody reduced their waste by 5%. That's much better than 1% of people reducing their waste by 100%. And today's nature expert in Singapore is... Hi, I am Joshua Goh and I keep ants as pets. So many people might think this is strange because ants are normally pests in a household. And that's Joshua. Oh, that's the whole bag of trash. Oh, he found something to eat. That is why you should not leave trash around. <laughs> is, that, is that a banana? Yeah. Oh, uh, come and share our environmental talk. I am 11 years old this year. Mm -hmm. I like keeping ants and I also like nature. This is actually my name card. So this is my icon on my channel. Oh, okay. It's a picture of a hermit crab. Sadly, they died. If you do not want this name card, kindly put it in a recycle bin or give it to your friends. So at least it doesn't waste the paper I'm using. I the paper I give to them. The reason why climate change happens is because uh, the industry age came along. It actually resulted in more gaseous emissions. Mm -hmm. The gaseous emissions trap like carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide. What human activity is doing is a vicious cycle that get, just makes everything get worse and worse. So what do you think is going to happen to the world? I mean, 50 years later, imagine if there were no more forests, it was just plastic bags all over the place. Do you think the humans are doing enough and quick enough? I mean, we can do more if more people pitch in. When a video goes viral, it's like a domino effect. So one tips over 10, and then the 10 spreads to 100, then the 100 spreads to 1,000. So if there are enough people, maybe it can reach that domino effect. Even if our technology is very advanced in the future, it, might, it will cost even more in the future than it is today. If we start now, we can slowly start to build it up. It might buy enough time for us to just coexist with, with the environment mutually so we don't cause too much harm to the environment and the environment can also prosper along with humans. Not just because your government tells you to. <laughs> then maybe it can then maybe it can help because you are doing it out of natural interest, not because someone orders you to and pays you one trillion dollars to do this. <laughs> Try to be more environmentally conscious. Think about your actions. As I think about my actions, I feel my feet give way after walking under the hot sun for days. But I persist, because there is a nagging question in my mind. As a country, we destroy so much of nature to build houses and offices. So, I'm calling my friend Louis to get some answers. Looks just like me. Hello? Hey Louis, your hair looks a bit different, but different in a nice way. I'm just following fashion trends, you know. By the way, I need to meet you because I need to ask you about restoring nature in Singapore. Sure, see you soon. Bye. Hey Louis. Hello, Eileen. It's too. Actually, it's not so hot because the trees are helping to cool us down. And the best thing is, they're doing it for free. So what is Singapore's plans for restoring nature? So we know how important our forests are. They really are our carbon sink and they help in our fight against climate change. By 2030, we hope to plant another million trees here in Singapore. How is that possible? How do you plant a million trees? So we're getting everyone to help, not just the government planting the trees. We're also going to protect the existing forests and trees here in Singapore. So we know everyone's concerned about the Ulu Pandan Forest, uh, the Clementi Forest. We're looking into those concerns. But at the same time, we are also already protecting land and forests that were previously unprotected, like the Katip Pungsu Nature Park uh, in Yishun. That's going to be a beautiful nature park with plenty of trees that will really help in our fight against climate change. When did you start getting interested in climate change and nature and environment? Since I was 14. Really? When I watched a movie called Gorillas in the Mist. Mm. told the life story of this American lady called Diane Fossey. Mm. She went to Africa to save the gorillas. And I remember I watched that movie with my mum. Mm. And I told her I want to be just like Diane once I grow up. 
See now that you've gone plant-based, they're coming towards you. Eh? Huh, more cut? Hey, there's more there. I've never seen chickens so friendly before. Eh? Yeah, and they have no personal boundaries. <laughs> we were an island that was covered with forests, but the majority have been now cut down for the development of Singapore. So we're trying to restore, so we share in Parliament. We're starting by taking all the golf courses back, but we can try and develop first before we think about cutting any forests. So everybody wants your BTO, but yeah. Everybody doesn't want to wait that long. Yeah. At the same time, the Singaporeans that says don't cut the forest. So now it's about finding that balance. Like, what are your own thoughts and philosophies since you already like want to help the environment since a young boy? I guess I'm in the, a nice position of seeing things from both sides. I've been an activist. It's an MP as a politician, seeing it from the government side as well. And that's why in the, in the motion I delivered in Parliament, it really was about how we can find the middle ground. I don't believe it's either or. I think we can have our strong economic progress. That can continue. But at the same time, we can have a healthy planet to live in. I always believe that as one person, you can make a difference. I always remember this quote, which reads, I'm only one, but still I'm one. I cannot do everything, but still I can do something. And because I cannot do everything, I will not refuse to do the something that I can do. And each one of us can do that one thing. Like what you have done, a Kosong plan that started off with small little steps, uh, one plant-based meal a week. Those are little things that we can do that again, if everyone starts doing, it will be a very big impact for this planet that we live in. Whether we like it or not, climate change will impact us. What's surprising for me in this journey is that these climate actions can be simple and everyone can play a part. As part of Earth Hour 2021, the Cosm Plan aims to encourage climate actions. Whether you are an individual or business, it is designed for you to commit to specific actions to help achieve a low-carbon, climate-resilient Singapore. Go to earthhour.sg to find out more.